all these telltale signs of Dark Justicius that we've been seeing. I'm having a hard time believing they're a coincidence. It could be nothing or the same. Lands like these must have seen all sorts throughout the years. Still, there may be more to it. I need to keep alert in case that suspicion amounts to anything. Coincidence is more common than destiny. I, in my experience, don't get your hopes up. Still, there may be more to it. I need to keep alert in case that suspicion amounts to anything. I know where the Underdark is and we're gonna have to do many things to get there. So I have to say, out of all my playthroughs, this is the furthest I've gone. So anything we experience from here on out is something that I haven't encountered yet. I have taken away my multi-class and focused on only Warlock. I've done that because I think it's important. He of the unsleeping eyes. Grant me the might to carry this burden. Grant me the faith to face darkness without fear. What the hell's happened here? A massacre. Drow and goblins slaughtered the lot. Please, just leave me be. Grant you a raven girl could be inside. Don't just stand there. Push! What happened to this place? Goblins and drow happened. Now push, damn it! I'm not very strong. Minus one. <laughs> Oh, critical success! We did it! Inside! Hurry! We don't have much time! Come! I'm afraid proper thanks must wait. Fresh air! At last! You honor your clan, sir. I'm in your debt. Counselor, are you alright? It takes more than mere fire to break me, Eva. Now listen close, Fist. Duty calls. Drow have taken Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard westward, if my eyes and ears can be believed. Gauntlet, report to the manor and send for reinforcements. We must find the Duke. On your command, Counselor. The rest of you, count the dead. Take word of their sacrifice to this city. And you, I must ask again for your aid. Please, rescue Ravenguard from his Drow captors. The Council will reward you for your effort. May I trust you'll see it through? I'll rescue Duke Ravenguard. You have my word. Thank you. And should your courage falter, remember the Duke's generosity. Approach the towers with care. The land itself has been swallowed in shadow. I will seek reinforcements and join you when I can. Fist to work. We learned that Grant was captured by Drow, taken westwards. You received. Ooh, hoo, hoo. <coughs> Me. Find leverage to shift the beam. Critical fail. I've got inspiration, thank goodness. Okay, make it. I think that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Miri. No, gods. No, no, no. You should have stayed. You should have been with me. How did you two get separated? I was in our room. We had a fight. If I just kept my mouth shut about that bloody dowry, she'd still, she'd still be here. What was that about a dow dowry? It was for a sister's wedding. I made a stupid joke about keeping it. We argued about it for hours, then she took the dowry and left. She said I'd never see her again. She was right. This isn't on you. There was no way you could have known. I'm sorry, Mary. I'm so sorry. Please, just go. I need a moment with her. Okay. Ooh, this is something I didn't know. I could do. Here we go. You spot a man crouching between the shelves, just as he spots you. Dugger. Little serpent, long shadow. Oh, Helm's orbs! I thought you were flaming fist. Well, down you go then. They'll be on us soon. So if you're looking to trade, you best be quick. Entrance is hidden behind the wardrobe. Here's the key. Okay, this is absolutely new to me. I have no idea what to expect. Oh, we got a new waypoint. That's far enough. What's your business down here? Answer honestly and maybe we'll kill you clean. Hold on. That's the lad who saved us from the knolls. Let him in. You revealed our location. That tongue gets any looser, Rugen. I'll cut it out. Come down then. It seems you're a friend of the family. You. Zaris may have welcomed you, but I can see you're not one of her thugs. You need to buy me. Why are you selling yourself? Selling my... I am not some lower city coin lad offering you a tumble. I am an artist, and my patron will reward you for my rescue tenfold. Whatever ransom you pay, I guarantee it. Who is your patron? 
As far as you're concerned, she may as well be the coin maiden herself. But there will be time for questions later. Please, speak to Brem. I need to see the sun again. Brem. Well, don't you cut a fine figure. Want your portrait done? If you have the gold, my pet artist will make you a most heroical likeness. It's not the art I want to buy, it's the artist. I doubt you've got that kind of dosh line about. You're insane if you think I'm gonna pay that much. Oh, it's high. I made it. All right, so maybe I was fishing. No fool in you. He's all yours. Don't forget to feed him. He balls something proper. You I'm, need to pay off. I can't say I've ever been bought before. How much did I fetch? No, don't tell me. There's nothing so depressing as learning one's true value. Well, you should at least know what you've paid for. I am the Oscar Fevras, at your service. And I am Balathar. A genuine pleasure. I'm in your debt. As is my patron. <clears throat> my betrothed, I should say. Assuming Lady Janeth still wishes to marry me after our little um, falling out. You recall a recent scandal. A patriarch of Baldur's Gate who wished to marry a commoner. What happened? She offered me a future. And so, in a fit of madness, I told her of my past. Of the woman I'd loved before she found me. Love still, in truth. She was less than pleased. I made a timely retreat into the countryside to paint and clear my head. To choose, I suppose. A truly horrifying dilemma. Indeed. One to split the very soul. But I do not dwell on it any longer lest I weep. So dramatic. And we have your reward to consider. Once I have made my way safely back to the city. Say, you, I don't suppose you could spare some coin, could you? Ease the discomforts of the road some. Hmm. I have nothing to give. No coin. Mightily imprudent of you. I suppose I can endure the walk sober. Suffering has become an old friend, after all. Until Baldur's Gate, then. I owe you one for saving my people. The Zentarim look out for their own, even if it's Rugen. That's worth some coin. And my thanks. Our trader can show you some of our more exotic items now, but don't delay. This place is likely to be rubble soon. Rubble? What are you planning to do? Someone kidnapped a duke right on our bloody doorstep. The Flaming Fist will need someone to blame. I don't plan on it being us. Will's brows furrow as your minds connect. He sees the burning embers of Joaquin's rest. Then Floric's face as she tells you of Raven Guard's abduction. Hells. Older Raven Guard's been taken. Yes, Ralph set fire to the inn and saw, stole away with the Duke. Then we need to seek him out and get him to safety. You see, Grand Duke Raven Guard is my father. I know I haven't said our relation was no matter of pride, not least for him. Thank you. Should you. Rescue. That means a lot. But I wonder, what makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the Drow? Even the houses of Menzo Baranzin would have little use for my father. No. This is no drow plot. These absolute nutters, these true souls are behind his abduction. His absence alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. All the more reason to find him. The absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. You shouldn't keep secrets like this from me, Will. I know, and you're right. My story is one of two men. The Blade of Frontiers, a man hunting the fiends who prey on the weak and claw at the coast. And Will Ravenguard, a memory of a memory, a man who belongs to the past. I wanted you to know the Blade, not the shadow he left behind. Again? Gale, you need... My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. Must consume another artifact, and soon. Thank you. Good gods. It hardly has any effect. Mr. have mercy on us all. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Go on, you're among friends. I might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself, the lady of mysteries, the goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse, and later even my lover. Are you telling me you made love to a goddess? Oh, yes. We enjoyed each other's company, body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, 
I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. I want to say number three, I applaud your ambition. <laughs> but uh, how exactly did you try to cross those boundaries? I tried to convince her. Pouted. I pleaded. Swore my ambition was only to serve her better. She only smiled and told me to be contented. Inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess. Yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? I'm intrigued. Tell me all. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. Flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. He almost managed, but not quite. Tyre Empire, Netheril, and crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured then shattered and all magic was lost to the mortal realms. Until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book. A netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if... I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? What was the answer to that question? The answer was to try. The outcome was to fail. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next, here, place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in, into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces its teeth. Its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. How are you still alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however... Go on. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. You thrice damned rotten bastard! You've been the greatest threat to our lives all this time! I swear to you I wasn't! But I've no choice but to admit I am now. Perhaps it would be best if I leave for as much distance between us as I can before the orb erupts. Is there nothing we can do? We might chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner. We might cross paths with a miracle around the bend. Then again, we might not. All of this, it must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. I would hear what the others say first. You'd even consider letting him stay. We must be rid of this menace. I'm in two minds, and frankly, I don't care a great deal. Either decision is fine by me. If we were to part ways, where would you go? Once I'd step out of the protective aura of the artifact, it wouldn't be long before the Absolute overtakes me. I'd never let that happen, so I'd aim for a swift end. I would consume some midnight tears and venture as deep into the Underdark as I possibly could, till they cloud my eyes forever. With a bit of luck, I'd manage to make it to a Mind Flare colony, so that when the orb erupts, one loud, last song of vengeance would reverberate through the dark wouldn't be a heroic end but coarsely poetic enough in its justice uh, this is a difficult decision we've come this far together and we'll continue on together that is how it will be that is a great relief oh a great relief indeed you truly are a soul that steals my own from all my new rallied heart i thank you i thank you all i understand if you stand against me i'm humbled 
if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice, but if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now, even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. You've wandered into a forbidden area. You sense it might be time to leave. I am not going to leave. Attack. Missed. Action third. Number one. That is how it is done. Right tool will do the trick. Ah, shit. Try again. Okay, we did it. Night song. In search of the night song, I want to grab this waypoint first. Uh, I guess that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. Please leave a comment down below on any tips, tricks, questions, or concerns that you might have, or what choices you might have done differently. Also, please leave that in the comment section below. Kindly check out our membership page by clicking the join button. If there is no join button, you can find both the links to YouTube membership and Patreon in the description below. What you'll also find is my affiliate link for vidIQ. Now, if you have a YouTube channel or you're thinking of starting one, try vidIQ for the best results ever. They have free subscriptions as well as paid subscriptions. Now, if you buy a paid subscription using my link, I have to add that I might get some commission at no extra cost to you. I truly believe that vidIQ are super cool. Click the link in the description below and I thank you for your support. I'm going to give my current supporters the recognition that they deserve by putting their name in the credit roll. If you want your name in the credit roll, be sure to become a member. So, credit roll in three, two, one, go! Alrighty then, that's gonna be it for today. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!